Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out at the Magic Kingdom and we are going to be riding Tron Light Cycle Run. I am so excited. Ever since they started the construction back in 2018, I have been praying for this day to come that we're going to finally be able to ride it and today is that day. I got invited by a cast member friend of mine and I think we're going to ride it during the day and night. So I'm so excited. Anywho, let's go do this. Like I mentioned, this is a cast member early preview and the ride doesn't open until April 4th and a friend of mine invited me as their guest and I'm so excited. And because this is an approved Disney Cast Life photo and video event, we can share and post photos and video throughout your preview experience. So I'm gonna be able to share it all with you. I have heard a lot of people say that this ride is not accommodating for bigger guests and I am a bigger guy. My pant size is 42 and I am 5'8 and I have never tested the seats before so this is going to be my first time actually even trying it out so I don't even know if I'm going to fit on it but regardless I am still going to be able to ride. They do have seats that accommodate bigger guests in the back of the vehicle and I'm going to walk you guys through the whole entire process. And I think we're gonna actually head on in. We're going to the left of Space Mountain, and I think this is gonna be the regular entryway. Most of the people who had trouble fitting on the ride said that it was their calves and their leg restraints. I have pretty big calves, but I'm mainly concerned about like my belly and my mid torso area. That's where I'm kind of concerned because I fit on Flight of Passage very easily like I don't have any issue at all and the leg restraints are kind of like that but I think they're a little bit tighter here is a look at my calves just so you know they look pretty big and also don't make fun of me because of my Florida tan look at that look at these legs <laughs> look at these legs <laughs> Our preview time is from 5.30 till 6.30 and that's just about the time the sun starts to set here in Florida. So I'm hoping we're going to be able to ride it during the day and at night. But if we can only do it at night, that's going to be fantastic because I think that's the one everyone wants to ride because it's all lit up and it's all colorful and very pretty and I cannot wait. And we have made it. Look at that. We're about to actually head right on in. There's the Tron sign. I am so excited and I can't wait to see it all lit up too. Thank you to my friends who are actually inviting me. Are you guys excited for Tron? Oh, yeah. yeah? It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm so excited. Thank you again. Seriously. Oh, this is going to be the best. Before you make your way up the ramp, it looks like you have to park your stroller over here. And then here is the sign itself, probably with the wait time and the lightning lanes. And actually has all the different uh, instructions here. I am so excited. Persons who do not meet the minimum height requirement may not ride. All loose articles must be stored in lockers or left with a non-rider. The seating and restraints on this attraction may prohibit, prohibit guests of certain body shapes and sizes from riding. Because it did say all loose articles have to be stored away, I did bring my GoPro and I brought my chest strap and my wrist strap. The chest one is a harness so it is attached to your person and I think I'm going to be able to film with it but we'll see. Uh, but we are going to go over the locker process, show you some of the other stuff and I think the lights are starting to turn on like right now. I think the lights are starting to be visible right now. We're making our way up the ramp now. I am so excited. Oh, I think we have to go this way. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like making my way up right down the center. I'm like walking down the middle of Main Street. <laughs> this is gonna be so incredible. Now, I haven't seen the test seats yet. I think they're actually up by the attraction. So you have to come up the bridge. And then they also have restrooms up here, which is a really nice touch because it is kind of far. It's, it's pretty far back from Space Mountain. Right there is the restrooms itself. And then over here is where you actually walk through. Look at this. Oh, and you can actually see they're uh, kind of painting or doing something to Space Mountain. I love seeing the backside of Space Mountain. Oh, there it goes. All right, here are the test seats. Looks like you actually have to pull this up and then that's when the leg restraints come and the back comes down. So I'm gonna hop in and test it out and see how it goes. Oh boy, this is it. <laughs> 
We're gonna find out whether or not it's happening. I can't tell. So, this isn't like specifically the design, this one is just like a test. Yeah. It didn't fully close on me and she said to go ahead and try it. Those aren't the exact seats. So I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna try it, but if not, we'll see how it goes. It looks like my legs weren't touching really and you gotta push it down and then those bars lock into place. So we'll see, they said to test it out. Here we go. I'm going for it. Oh, we're going up the lightning lane kind of. I like this entryway, it's very nice. Welcome Team Blue. This is really, really nice in here. And the sun setting right now is perfect. We're next. The bike, all right. This is so exciting. All users should be in good health. You should be free from high blood pressure, heart, back, or neck ice into the world of Tron. For your safety in this world, all users should be in good health. Wow. <laughs> I'm kind of scared too. I feel like this is a door, maybe. Users, prepare to be digitized into the world of drag. That was cool. That was cool. What? This looks so amazing. And it smells so good in here. It smells so good. Look at, oh, we're coming into the station. articles larger than a cell phone have to go in the locker so that means my camera my hat uh, basically a lot of stuff but we are gonna bring the cell phone in and I do have the GoPro strap I think I'm gonna take three three four does that work like that oh it's open I have switched over to the GoPro and we are making our way down now. Look at this. I hope it all comes out good and we'll see if I fit or not because now I'm kind of scared. She said to try it. It's not, the outside wasn't the exact, but if not, they do have the back rows there. So we'll see. We're going to try to see if we fit on the bikes, but the friends that I'm with actually want to do the other vehicle. So they're going to actually do that. I'm going to try the bikes and there is a separate line that you have to request for and it's not on every single ride vehicle. So it could be a little difficult getting it. There it is. This is the cart one in the back here. They only have two though, so if you are a party of three, you're not going to be able to ride together. So now I have to wait for the next run. I don't know if it's going to work. I can't, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so it looks like the light isn't locking. I, I would recommend the light row room would be more comfortable for you. Let's do it. Okay. Here we go. Hi, pal. Hi, how are you? Thank you. 
Well guys, I did not fit. Even though I was really close, it's just the leg restraints. They told me the back is just there for comfort and it's just like a little bit. I was so close to actually getting it locked into, but I feel like the pressure and everything really just gets you kind of worked up about it. So if you're kind of on the edge of this, I feel like you need to just take your time. And I wanted to take my time at the test seat. Oh wait, here it goes. I wanted to take my time at the test seats, but it was so busy because everyone wanted to sit down and the picture, like take pictures in the seats, and everyone wanted to like test them out and stuff like that. So there was a big line, so I had to rush through that. But uh, yeah, you have to just kind of relax, and maybe I might try it again. I might try the test seats again and see if I can fit in there. You know. was just talking about how I didn't have enough time to sit and get adjusted in the test seat. I went back out and there was no line, so I just kind of took my time and I figured out if you put your feet flat against the back and it worked, it went right up on me, no problem at all. I did push the back piece a little bit to give me a little help, but I fit the test seats. So therefore, I'm gonna try it again. We uh, ended up doing the regular cart, like the regular seat, and it was fun, I liked it a lot, but now I really wanna try the light cycle. So you've already done the cart, right? Yep. And now you're doing the bike, and then we're gonna decide which one we like better when we get done. Are you excited? Yeah. Yep. I am trying to wear my GoPro chest strap now, look at this fancy thing. I feel kinda, I feel like a little cozy in it. A little tight, kinda like suspenders. And there are it's really cool how these lockers you pick up afterwards. You want to do three, four, zero? That's the one. That's mine. You tap your little band. I'm using my Tron band, and then it opens. Bada bing! And then you pick it up on the other side. All right, here we go. Round two. Fingers crossed. I feel like it's gonna happen now. The test seat completely. I got the green light go. So let's see. If you see where this person's feet are right here, you wanna have your foot all the way back, all the way back. That's the trick. No space in between. Here we go. Oh boy. Oh. So we're gonna get our feet all the way back. There we go. Get it to this point. And then, then you can use this to actually push it over on top of you. And there we go. I'm locked in. I'm locked in. I'm, I'm trying. Huh. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited. Here we go. Oh, yes! Prepare for Team Blue Light Cycle Run Upload Sequence. Remember, hold on, keep your head up, and face forward. Oh boy! And it's dark outside! Initiate in 3, 2, 1. Yes! 
championship performance and victory for Team Blue. We did it! We did it! We did it! We did it! What a crazy turn of events! Like I can't, I don't even, the, the way that that just played out is blowing my mind, honestly. I can't even believe it. I mean, this is so epic, but I feel great and now I know I can always fit on it. But my calves hurt really bad. I mean, they hurt, but the front was so much better. I mean, I liked riding the back car, the little cart, but come on, the front was so much fun. I mean, it's still fun on the back, but just being like, you know, like in that like, you know, Tron cycle, kind of like riding on Hagrid. I definitely have to say, riding the motorbike is way better than the sidecar, and I love this. I do not fit on the sidecar at Hagrid's though. I sit on the motor, I fit on the motorbike, but I don't fit on the sidecar, and I fit on every other ride at Universal Studios or at SeaWorld or at Disney, and that was the first time I kind of didn't really fit. Like, I was a little shocked, but hey, it worked together, it worked out, it worked out in the end. I do have to warn you, I am kind of bruised here. They hurt really bad. Those are the uh, the, the, restraints. the restraints. Look, you can see it in the front too. <laughs> and on this side, definitely a lot for these big ham hocks. <laughs> As we made our way out, looks like they got a gift shop playing there, huh? Look at that, what's behind the black curtain? What's behind Magic Kingdom? These are the questions we want to know. <laughs> now we get to see it all lit up at night on the inside. Look at this all. It's so beautiful. It is, it's so beautiful. Wow. Definitely appreciate it a little bit more once I got to ride it. So happy. Look at that. Lots of people are lining up to get the cool photo with the disc. Oh, every time it comes by, I just get so excited I move away. But look at the disc. That's a cool photo. I am still in awe that this happened today. Like, it's been ups and downs. I didn't think I was gonna fit. I didn't fit, and then I fit. And it just, it, it, it blows my mind, literally. But I enjoyed every single moment of this. It was so great. Like, honestly, and I'm gonna say it again, because, you know, it was probably a little bit loud back there, but you gotta put your feet all the way back. Make room in between your knees and the top part. You gotta scoot it all the way back. I hope it came clear on the video that I shot, because that was really important. But that was literally the main reason I was able to fit there. And don't forget, don't be afraid to push the back piece a little bit to help you. You know, give it a little nudge. The line from when we came in to now has grown extremely, like a hundred times longer. I'm pretty sure it's probably a hundred minute wait. That is craziness. Look at that. Tron Light Cycle Run Game Over. This concludes your preview of Tron Light Cycle Run. Please proceed to the park and exit at this time. It's been fun. I shall see you again. Oh wow, it's doing its magic right now. I like how I called it magic. <laughs> this has been pretty spectacular, but I think we're gonna start making our way back down Main Street, USA. Also, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I wore my Roosevelt's Trapper Keeper shirt because I felt like this is Tron, basically. Look at it, doesn't it look very Tron-y? Is that what we're gonna say? Is it like Tron-ish? Tron-y? Tron-ish? I don't know. I like it though. And I thought it was perfect. I said it before in another video. I am still bruised. Look at that. 
once I get back to my house, I plan on sitting down for a second and actually just recapping the day with you guys, letting you know like my overall thoughts, giving some more pointers and suggestions to people that are a little bit on the bigger side and just kind of doing like a little recap and talking about the ride itself. I thoroughly loved it. Also talk about the comparison between riding it at day and night and also from front to back because I got to do all two of those. And I think that's, that's awesome. I'll tell you what though, like I said, my calves, they're still hurting. My dogs, my ham hocks are barking. <laughs> Gracie, I just rode Tron Light Cycle and I loved it. How was your day? Looks like you're nice and cozy. Look at this, she looks nice and cozy, don't ya? You're my baby girl. Just like I mentioned, I wanted to sit down and just kind of go over and recap my experience riding Tron tonight. And first of all, I had a great time. Thank you so much to my cast member friends who invited me out. It was really cool getting to hang out with them and actually ride and experience it together. And uh, I loved it. I mean, it was a great ride. It's a fun ride. It's perfectly nicely themed. Now, do I think it's better than like say Guardians of the Galaxy? I wouldn't say that. I don't think it's better for Guardians of the Galaxy, but I think it's better for everyone. Like I think it's a ride that is just enough thrill that the thrill seekers will love and also just enough like feeling like comfortable that you know families and people that don't like roller coasters i think they can ride this ride and actually like enjoy it you know what i mean there's no loops there's no ups and downs there's launches and it's really pretty i can tell you i rode it during the day and at night i wish i was able to record during the day but at night was better like seeing all the lights and everything like that, I feel like it enhances the experience a little bit better. And then I also rode the back cart, which was like the cart itself. And then I rode the Tron light cycle. Now, the cart itself was actually fun because at the back, you get to see more of the projections once you get inside the building. But the front light cycle, it's just such a great feeling when you're launching out of that first, like that first launch. It's really exhilarating, but I felt like I was missing most of the things once I got inside the building that were like on the side, like the walls, the projections and stuff like that. I still think I would do the Tron light cycle more. Like, you know what I mean? I did hurt my calves a lot though. Like the ball, like the, the bar restraints and the back piece, that's not even a restraint. That's literally just for comfort. But the bars are the restraints and they were pressed down like pretty hard. You know what I mean? All you have to do is get it to roll over your calves. And once I found out that I can back my feet up, I thought I was riding it just like a regular bike. But once you like realize you can like kind of make your, your leg like this instead of like this, like you're good. So like you want your kind of, you, you kind of want your leg to be straight and then the bar is just going to go over it. But if it's like this, it's got issues and that's where I struggled the first time and I didn't know and I wish I could have taken more time sitting in the test seat to figure it out but there was a line of people. So now I know and I'm glad that I get to talk to you guys about it so that you don't have to go through kind of the same situation as I did. And like I said, I had pretty, you know, beefy calves. Like, you know, they're, they're pretty big. But I've seen people that were bigger than me that were actually riding it. And I do think your height will inflect this because if you're taller, then your uh, calves are going to be up higher. So I don't know how well that's going to actually help you. But me being only around like 5'8", five, 5'9", five, I would say, it just fit perfect. And like another thing too is like I felt like if there was any back restraint, like I, I as I was riding, I was kind of lifting up. So you can kind of give a little relief off of it. Like it's not like pushing you down, like you're not like this. It actually is just there and it, it had plenty of room for me to kind of move around. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's it. I loved it. I think it's a great fit for Magic Kingdom. It's a good family ride. It's not the highest level on thrills, but I had a really good time doing it. Now, I don't know how long I would wait. I know Lightning Lanes are going to be coming out soon for it, but uh, it's definitely a must do. You know what I mean? See how you like it, and I'm sure it's going to be pretty, you know, once you get to do it with, you know, the different effects that happen. I think when I first threw, went through a uh, night, it was just the blue. But the concept of it is you're racing Team Blue versus Team Red. 
and you can dive into the lore a little bit more. I really didn't get too much into it. I don't know that much about Tron other than I've seen the movie. Uh, I know that it takes place kind of at the end of it. I did also talk to someone who rode uh, Shanghai, the one that was in Shanghai and the one that is here, and it was identical. They actually made a side, like a, a, a side by side like video, and uh, it's almost identical. It is. It's like 100% identical. And another thing I want to point out is Guardians of the Galaxy is a newer ride. This Tron light cycle, even though we're just getting it here in the Magic Kingdom, it's been overseas for such a long time. So it's kind of an older ride, just like Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. That was an older ride. So I think the next big project has to be something updated and something innovative. You know what I mean? Like something like futuristic i think disney can you know pull out the stops i think that's what they did with guardians of the galaxy you know what i mean this is just a copycat ride but overall i had so much fun so i hope you guys enjoyed the video i enjoyed making it and uh we'll see you next time bye